If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have Most Feared Release Part 2. Now, if you guys already know, Most Feared is going to have three parts. We had part one about a week ago. No pun intended. We have part two today, which is Friday. And I assume part three will be like a week from today, which we are on the 29th. They're close to Halloween, as you know. As we can expect right and that's pretty much it now some aspects we expect part two to be really good there has been times where after the second part it just gets really bad we don't know right so we're, we we have them in segments based on the like the strategy cards right the years past and speed height strength you guys know the deal right before we get into the video if you're into the channel hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up guys and guys there are some banger cards today like that brandon marsh card is easily one of the most meta cards in the game if you want to pick them up Head on down below to my sponsor, guys. You can get some of the cheapest coins, if not the cheapest coins, with my code on the internet right now. So make sure you go check that out. Pick up some coins. Use my code Poodle, P-O-O-D-L-E. Don't miss out, guys. You can build a, you could you could pretty much pick up most of these most feared players for super cheap. Do not buy the packs. I, I I can't trust that enough. Packs are never worth it. But let's get on over to sets. Let's check out some of the stuff that's live in game. Now remember, guys, there are a lot of free players that can be ahead. Can you can go ahead and go get right. So a lot of this stuff didn't unlock till part two, like a lot of the solos didn't unlock all the way to part two. So make sure you guys do go ahead and play those solos because that means you can go ahead and get your part two release players. I will be ranking my part two release players uh, after, shortly after this video. So make sure you stay tuned for that so you guys do know the best part two 90 overalls to take. So release two right here. So we got Ray Lewis. Now big Ray gets me super excited. I actually have a Ray Lewis jersey in my closet. I used to be, I used to be a big Ravens fan back in the day. Um, I'm a Giants fan by default, or right? I'm in New York. I slowly shifted to being strictly a Giants fan, but I always like to see some Ravens success. I have, a, I have a Ray Lewis jersey. I'm surprised I don't have a Lamar jersey yet. I've always liked the Ravens for quite a while now. Um, Randy Moss. Now, you would think this would be the most exciting drop of the day, but they actually kind of killed this Randy Moss card, and I will get into that shortly in a little bit. Lawrence Taylor, right outside linebacker, 93 overall for the New York Giants. Now, that's so exciting, guys, as a Giants fan. Finally, Lawrence Taylor. This is probably one of the longest... In a while, at least, right? The last two uh, two years. That's probably the longest it's been since we've seen a Lawrence Taylor card. But moving on, guys, we have Rob Gronkowski, 93 overall tight end. We have left end Brandon Graham. These are going to be the 90s, by the way. You can go ahead and pick as your free ones, and I will get into that in a little bit. Trey Flowers, uh, right end for the Lions. Left outside linebacker Joey Bosa for the Chargers. Calvin Ridley, wide receiver for the Falcons. Eric Rowe, cornerback for the Dolphins. Joel Batonio, left guard for the Browns. Marshawn Lattimore, cornerback for the Saints. And we have Brandon Cooks, wide receiver for the Texans. Some pretty big names here. It really just comes down straight to stats and kind of what we're dealing with that. We're all some big names here to choose from. Obviously, you don't want to choose by name this year, guys. This is not the year of Madden names. This is the year of stats. Like It's very noticeable with certain thresholds and certain things. Like They've been giving some big name players some cards, and their cards suck. Then they've given some players with like lesser names, and they're beasts. Right? Ted Hendricks, right? In years past, he was trash. As of the last two years, he's been really, really good. Now, if you guys know what I'm referring to, if you guys come over to the solos, you'll see in there when you go into all of the most feared solos, you can clearly see where the milestones drop down to in the releases. Now, the thing with this is, like I said, some of them were only released two players. Now, one thing I do want to make a note of, guys, if you haven't played any of your solos yet, right, you played none. We're not entirely sure yet if, this, if the packs get reset in the sense where you can actually get released one and two players. So, let's say you, the first set of sequence solos gives you a free 90 overall most feared player, right? Let's say you open that pack today, or you got the pack today. Would you get part two and one? That is not confirmed yet. Please comment that down below for other people to figure out, and so other people so can they can see that. So here's my here's my one thing to say about the packs. If they do do both, again, you'll see my rankings later. You can go off the rankings. If they don't do both, which is, I would say likely, that's another case. But just to keep in mind, guys, don't don't think that just because you saved your packs you'll get both, or don't think because you didn't save your packs it didn't matter, right? We're not entirely sure on that front yet. But that's it for that, guys. Coming over here. I, make sure you guys are keeping up with the house rules and stuff all the little rewards and stuff you can go ahead and get there's always some good free stuff in there as we go through currently guys you know that does reset we should be getting more because they did say we'd be seeing a few house rules throughout the week and then we come over to store member guys i really don't recommend packs although if you guys if you guys really want to this isn't the worst pack to go ahead and do which was the um like the, the special packs similar to the one last time with the uh the four steps now this is a boo bash bundle contains 190 overall most feared player 287 overall most feared player 285s 
283s and 281s it's actually a really good value for like 20 bucks the only thing like, i'm pretty sure the 87s 85s and 83s and 81s can pretty much go ahead and make you another 90 so it's kind of like 290s for about 20 bucks that's really not bad at all again i would stay away from the massive bundles in terms of this you can really just go ahead and um i mean this does pretty much make you a full player but you can always just go ahead and pick up coins and it's usually cheaper to just buy a bunch of coins and you can pretty much buy you could buy multiple of the 93s and 94s instead of just getting one of them for those you know what i mean it's just always tip it's typically a better bet in my opinion now let's go over to the auction block and check out some of the stats and cards that are up hopefully the ltds are up guys that brandon marshall is absolutely ridiculous if you haven't seen him yet you're gonna want to see him he's he's just crazy you want to get your hands on this brandon marshall card but any way you can this is the card you have Brandon Marshall, 6, 675 carry now. He's an LTD. This card is ridiculous. 92 speed, 93 jumping, 94 catching, 91 catching traffic, 94 spec, 92 short, 94 medium, 95 deep. 6'5", 232 pounds, right? Like he's always been a beast with the ball in his hands. 80 strength, 87 agility, 92 speed to go. Same, same spot right there. 93 jumping as we move on down. If 84 carrying 78 run blocking guys so he's dangerously close to an 80 run block which is super cool as well uh he gets an 89 stiff arm which means power to pull get a 90 stiff arm 89 change of direction power up above 90 truck he'll have a 95 juke as well right 95 break tackle so he's gonna be he's gonna be a beast he can break tackle he can truck he can juke he can stiff arm uh he gets a change of direction he can pretty much run block he's gonna be one of the best all-purpose wide receivers in the game that can go ahead and get up to probably like 96 speed 97 speed depending on theme teams and all the stuff you have on your team and see if we can compare him. I know comparing has always been a little broken. Um, we can. Okay, so let's compare it to Brandon Marshall. Oh, I, I sold him? I thought I still had him. Okay, well, can't do that. But he is definitely better, guys. He gets all the route running thresholds. He gets all the catching thresholds. He has the speed, the jump. He has pretty much everything you're going to want in a wide receiver. He's just he's a really good card. And I actually think he's better than the Randy Moss, which you will see in a short amount of time here. Okay, this Anthony Barr is dropping pretty fast. He's already dropping down to 400K. I mean, again, it's an outside linebacker. That isn't going to be the best pass rusher. You guys kind of know the deal with this already. 91 speed, though. 90 excel. That's really good for now for just a linebacker in general. 80 strength. 94 tackle. 88 play rec. 87 block shed. 70 hip, uh, power move. 65 finesse. But we can't. He can't pass rush. He's going to be a stand-up linebacker slash run stuffer. You guys know the deal with that. 80 strength. 94 jumping, though. 80 catching on a 6'5". Guys, really good. 85 change of direction. 90 impact blocking. What is the zone? 90 zone. Okay, so this card actually is going to be pretty, pretty good. Because he gets the 90 zone threshold. He's 6'5". He gets 94 jumping, 84, 80 catching with super high speed play rec, uh, tackle, block shot. He's going to be a really good card. If his block shot was an 89 or 90, I would have said he's even, he would have been pretty much meta at that point, but it is going to be held back a little bit by the block shed because he's pretty much just a stand up zone guy. Well, you could probably put him at middle linebacker and get away with that and then not have to, you know, worry about some of that stuff as much. But he's still really, really good. Next, guys, we have some more cards dropping here. So let's go filter out my most feared. There was a lot of good cards today. A lot of good cards. And remember, the 90s, like I said, I'll be going over in the second video. So if you guys want to see an in-depth, you know, look at the 90s, the second video is the video for you, of course, because I can't spend all day in this one. There's not going to be enough time. But that's what the next video is for. Okay, where are all these cards? Where? Oh, there we go. Okay, so Randy Moss. In my opinion, guys, I don't think this Randy Moss is all that great. I'll get into why. 92, 92 speed, right? So same speed as Brandon Marshall. So instantly, Brandon Marshall... It's just more physical, right? And you're going to get the same speed as Randy Moss. 92 jumping. That jumping's not even the craziest. 90 catching is just good enough. 91 catching traffic, just good enough. 92 spec. Here's my problem with this card. 87 short, 88 medium. That officially makes him pretty much non-usable against an elite team in anything other than deep routes. 92 deep route running, right? He can do deep post. He can do streaks. He can do deep crosses. That's great. But I, when I get an elite receiver like a Moss, I want to be able to do ins, outs, curls i like to do everything like I, I i hate when i have i hate handicaps right early in the year it's fine you know what you're doing right you're getting a 90s deep route running tyree kill because he's your deep guy you'll get a good short running guy because he's your short guy but as you get it later in the year and you have all these expensive elite receivers you expect that you could pick any play and you don't have to worry about personnel similar to playing like franchise mode and stuff like you have to worry about your personnel and your subs because you don't want you know hollywood brown running your curls and you know you don't want the slow wide receiver in your team running the streak you want it the reverse you have to go mess with your subs and you have to mess around formations Randy Moss is going to kind of be that guy. If you call a play and he's running a he's running your in, which is your crucial route on this play because you want the in to be your safety route or something, he's not going to run it that fast. He may even get jumped, right? You're going to want to make sure he's at your deep spot. So he's going to hurt you. Guys like Brandon Marshall could literally be at any spot in the field and you could trust that he could run that route. So again, that's my problem with him. It's going to be his route running for the most part. And then behind the card, I mean, 51 strength. So he's low strength. He can't run block it like at all. Uh, lower change, of, pretty low change of direction compared. Like it's so close to Marshall. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, the juke move is almost 10 lower than Brandon Marshall. The break tackle is like 20, uh, sorry, 15, 16 lower than Brandon Marshall. 
ball carry vision is lower. It's like 30 less stiff arm, like no, oh, 25 less stiff arm. Overall, guys, Randy Moss isn't horrible, but I do I can clearly see where they kind of nerfed him this year. They do not want to they do not want us to have the goat Randy Moss card just yet. It's possible for, you know, Raiders theme team reasons and some other reasons why they might be withholding that card a little bit. We have Lawrence Taylor. He's always great. 92 finesse move, 92 power move, 90 block shed. He'll get 90 speed. Not much more to say about him. 90 strength, 90 speed, 90 block shed, 90 power move, 90 finesse move. Everything's above 90. Six foot three. And he gets the 91 Excel. Of course, his catching is just good enough in case he gets thrown a ball his way if you're not pass rushing him. 87 change of direction, 93 impact blocking, 91 hit power. Card's a beast. Card's an absolute beast, as per usual. Uh, and they usually just play really well, you know, regardless of stats or anything. They would just play really well. And then we got Ray Lewis as the final card I will be covering for today, unless we can see the Gronk as well in a second. Ray Lewis, 93 hit power, 90 zone, 90 block shed, 90 player rec powered up, 90 tackle, 90 strength, 90 excel, 90 speed, right? All above 90s. That's exactly what you want to see on a card with the zone too. This is going to be one of the best. He can roam and he can just hit 75 catching, 6 foot 1. He gets 87 change of direction, 91 impact blocking. This card's really good, 90 block shed. I mean, this card's a, this card's a beast. All of them are beasts so far, besides I say Randy Moss is probably my most disappointing one. And that's more so because they dropped a Brandon Marshall, which just significantly is better than that one. And I'm wondering where the Rob Gronkowski is. I haven't seen him just yet. Let's see if we can filter out so we can get him in this video as well. That's the one card I haven't seen yet. I wonder if it's up or it's just oversaturated right now. Gronk, no. Is it not? Was it a lower overall? I didn't realize. I don't think so, right? It definitely is one of the 92s. I, I wonder I wonder why that's not up yet. Maybe maybe it's, maybe it's filtered weird because I know I know sometimes this game filters certain cards weird, and we've noticed that in the past as well. I'll try to filter out by this now. But if not, guys, you guys probably saw the stats on Twitter yesterday when all the pre-release reveals. Let's see. All right, so that's about it for the video, though. You guys will see everything else as we do go with it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and of course comment down below if you guys need coins. Head over to my sponsor. Don't miss out. Don't purchase packs. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.